So you are here, that means that you are an absolute beginner and uh, I want to sincerely welcome you in this journey of learning flute because you are someone who is just about to begin your journey and uh, uh, this instrument can literally change the way you will feel about yourself if you start playing it for some time. So the first thing is that if you just begin this journey and if you don't know how to play side flute, the first thing I would suggest is that you should get a straight flute. The reason I ask people to use a straight flute is because initially it is very difficult for you to keep a hand and fingers on the flute. The second thing is it's very difficult to blow in a side flute and keep a hand like this. So we just break it down into two separate parts. First is just get a simple flute like this straight flute. This is D sharp scale of B size and uh, you just play basic Sare Gama Pitanisa, you learn that and then you go towards uh, moving to a side flute and blowing in that. So your first milestone is that you get a good grip over your basic Sare Gama Padanisa and play at least 5 to 10 Alankaras comfortably till the time you get this basic fingers. When I say Alankara, it is a pattern of Sora. It is like for example, if you have Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Da Ni Sa So Sa Re Ga Re Ga Ma Ga Ma Pa Ma Pa Da Pa Da Ni Da Ni Sa and reverse. This is just one pattern I told you. Reverse will be Sa Ni Da Ni Da Pa Da Pa Ma Pa Ma Ga Ma Ga Re Ga Re Sa you practice such five to six alankaras. If you have, if you want to create more alankaras, there is a video which I've given in the description where I've told you how you can create your own alankaras. But you should try and create simple alankaras at a beginner level. So that is the first task for you to complete if you are a beginner. The second thing that you should do is you should get a flute which is a good flute. So this is a A scale side flute. This is about 20 to 23 inches long uh, and uh, you should straight away go for a good professional flute and don't wait for a, you know that okay I'll learn with some basic flute and then I'll go towards a professional flute that doesn't happen in this instrument because everything depends on the quality of your bamboo. Uh, the kind of maker that I use flute is, I use my Gurugul flutes, Mukund flutes, Kanti Vibe flutes. And there are other makers like uh, Subhash Thakur and some more. But I have been mainly using uh, Mughal flutes and uh, my Gurukul flutes. Yeah. So that is the main milestone for you to kind of achieve after you play the straight flute. So the next thing is you start to blow, which is you just hold it and start blowing here. So that now you are only focusing on blowing. And once you focus on blowing part then you can do blowing and playing everything which is Sarigama Padanisa on a side flute and that's how you officially move from a side flute uh, straight flute to a side flute this is if you are able to do that then you are good with your milestone number one because you have been able to successfully play a side flute and basic Sarekama Padanisa. How much time you should take to play this? If you have about half an hour daily, I think if you are somebody who is serious about flute learning and you are willing to practice about 30 minutes every day, whatever I've mentioned so far, you can easily play this in a maximum a month's time, okay? Depending on your grasping power also, but maximum it should not take more than a month. Minimum it would take at least about a week probably so that should be your milestone for level number one so follow these milestone and uh, if you're already close to this milestone then go to the description and go to milestone number two yeah so i hope this video has been helpful if you find this helpful please mention in the chat box that it's helpful so i get to know what you feel like and please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video so that you get more videos from my channel. Thank you so much.